So for 631, we're going to get into the distance formula. So this particular section, 62, is a precursor to that. So if we have a line segment that's horizontal, which means it goes straight across from left to right, then we can find the distance between those points by subtracting the x-coordinate and taking the absolute value. When they talk about the absolute value, all that means is that in the end you're going to make the number positive. That's what absolute value means. You make the number positive. So if your segment was vertical, so if instead of being horizontal it was a vertical line, we would be able to find the length of that segment by subtracting the y coordinates and again taking the absolute value, just making it positive. So what happens if our segment is neither horizontal nor vertical if instead it is diagonal? Well, if it's diagonal, like this one, what we can do is we can form a right triangle and take and make the connecting segment the hypotenuse of the triangle. In other words, I just do, 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 make this align and make this align. Well, now I have a right triangle <clears throat> with the diagonal being my hypotenuse. I'm just going to call it HYP for now. So a right triangle always contains a right angle. So that would be this angle in the corner here. And the hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle and is always opposite the right angle. It's wherever the right angle is pointing to. The other sides of the right triangle are called the legs of the triangle. There's a theorem that you've probably heard of called the Pythagorean theorem. that tells us the relationship between the squares of the sides of a right triangle. So this formula, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, gives the relationship between the sides of a right triangle where a and b are the legs of the triangle and c is the length of the hypotenuse. So what that's telling us is if I have a right triangle here, we could call this side a, and the bottom B and this side would be C because our hypotenuse, wherever the right angle is pointing, is always C. When you form a right triangle connecting two given points, the distance between the points is always the length of the hypotenuse. So since the two legs of a right triangle are horizontal, and vertical line segments, you find their lengths by subtracting the x-coordinates of one and the y-coordinates of the other. So remember we said to find the length of, if we have a right triangle, and we're looking for the hypotenuse, we can use the Pythagorean theorem, but in order to do that we also have to figure out how long each of the legs are. And since these segments are horizontal and vertical, so the black one is vertical, and we said we could find that by subtracting the y's, and then the green one is horizontal, we said earlier we could find that by subtracting the x's, then we can use this formula to help us figure out how long the hypotenuse really is. So we're supposed to use the Pythagorean theorem to find the distance between negative 3, 2, and 4, 5 below. Round your answers to two decimal places. So I'm going to draw this picture for us. So I'm going to draw an x and a y axis. So we're going to go to negative 3 and positive 2, which would be here, and positive 4, positive 5, which would be up here, and we're supposed to find the length of this segment. Well, in order to do that, I need to figure out how long the horizontal piece is and the vertical piece. So we can actually count that. So our horizontal piece would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 long. And our vertical piece would be 1, 2, 3. So to find the length of C, we could do 7 squared plus 3 squared 
equals c squared. Well, that would work out to be 49 plus 20 plus 9, I'm sorry, equals c squared. And 49 plus 9 is 58. So ultimately what we would do to find out c is we would take the square root of that. Now, in the next lesson, we'll get more in depth and we'll actually practice this a lot more, but for now, we're just going to talk about a little bit more vocabulary. So down here, we have this picture, and this is a four-sided figure. It's called a rectangle. <clears throat> to find the area of a rectangle, you need to multiply your length times your width, which will come in handy for our next question, which says the area of the rectangle to the left is blank. Well, in order to find that out, we need to figure out how long it is and how wide it is. So our length would be one, two, three units long, or wide, I'm sorry, whichever direction you want to call that. And the other one would be one, two, three, four, five. So to find the area, we're going to do three times five, which equals 15 square units. Area is always measured in square units.